What's going on guys? Dr. Sean at Braithway Chiropractic and today we are going to talk about a really great hip adductor stretch. And this is going to be really, really good to do after a workout, after a run, after cycling. Definitely taking the time to go ahead and get into these muscles really is just going to help improve your workout the next time. So go ahead and take the time to do this along with a couple other stretches. But again, this is gonna be a great hip adductor stretch. So go ahead and join me on the floor, on the carpet, on a mat or anything along those lines. If you have sensitive knees, definitely take the time to go ahead and get like a towel or something else along those lines to put underneath your knee. So you're gonna keep one of your knees planted firmly on the ground. That foot, you're gonna have the toe tucked under. So your foot's not gonna be flat. You're gonna tuck the toe up and under. The other leg, you're gonna extend out to the side. And when you come out to the side, you're gonna plant your foot down. You're not gonna have your foot up like so. You're gonna plant it down. And right there, just at that point, I don't really have a, a doctor stretch, but I have a really good lateral calf stretch or peroneal stretch. And so from there, you're gonna lean the body down. You're gonna place your hands down on the floor and you're just gonna kind of sit back under your heel. And as you go further back, you're gonna get a really nice hip adductor stretch. And I like to hold this stretch for about 20 or 30 seconds. I kind of like to rock back and forth and just kind of get into different positions and kind of see what part of the muscle gets a better kind of stretch or gets activated the most. And then come back out of it and switch over to the other side. And so when you come up, kind of start in this upright position, again, foot flat. You're gonna come down, rest the hands down. If you wanna get really deep or really wild, come down to your elbows, because that makes it a little bit harder. Again, you're gonna hold the stretch for about 20 or 30 seconds um, and repeat two to three times on both sides. Definitely a stretch that is static, so we wanna do it after we're done working out, not before. It's not something that we use to warm the body up. It's something that we use to really break up the musculature and really loosen everything up. If you have any questions or anything along those lines, leave that stuff down below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel so you get the next video right when it comes out. Have a great rest of your day, you guys.